first responders getting to scenes faster. Across the QCA, many departments are all or part volunteer, and they say what you do before volunteers even get to the station will make a big difference in how fast they can get to an emergency call. KWQC's Elizabeth Goodsit joins us now with that story. <laughs> Well, Sharon, we all know what to do when we see and hear these lights and sirens. When you see the flashing red in your rearview mirror, you pull over so a fire truck or an ambulance can pass. But do you know what to do when you see these? In many of our rural communities, volunteers have flashing blue lights mounted on their windshields, their grills, or even their side mirrors. Basically, it's so drivers know no matter what kind of car or truck is on the road, it is heading to an emergency. Pulling over will help the volunteer behind the wheel get there faster. In my career, I've only been on two years and I've had my fair share of drivers that just, they either just don't move or they'll stop right in front of you. Hitting the brakes when all Brett Johnson wants to do is get to the fire station. Time is our adversary. The faster crews are on scene, the sooner someone gets medical attention. Or flames get knocked down. On most of the rural departments, they're waiting for that first guy to get there before they even any of the trucks leave. But most of these guys are part-time volunteers. They aren't sitting at the station. They could be running errands, they could be out for dinner, at work, wherever. When their pagers go off, they are on, having to drive to the firehouse so they can drive these trucks to the scene. They're personal trucks equipped with these blue courtesy lights, basically asking drivers who see them to give up the right of way. We can't technically pass them, so if they're not going to move, we just kind of have to deal with it and, and follow them. But it, it gets frustrating. And Johnson says it happens a lot. Most times, drivers just don't know what to do. A lot of times, I'll see them kind of look in the mirror at me. And they'll slow down like they don't know what they're going to do. And sometimes I've seen them just stop right in the middle of the road and not move, uh, you get all kinds of different reactions. He says the right reaction, pull over to the right if you can. It only takes them a second to move over and let us pass. Uh, that may cause us minutes if we have to follow them all the way to the fire station under the speed limit. And of course, we all know in an emergency every minute counts and firefighters say if you see these blue lights, well, there is an emergency. They won't turn them on otherwise. In fact, the lights were not on while we rode along with our volunteer. And while pulling over for a blue light is not a law, volunteers turning them on for anything other than a true emergency, it's a criminal misdemeanor. Volunteers can face fines. Sharon. And while we don't see it in the metro, the National Fire Protection Association reports more than 70% of all firefighters are volunteers. There are more than 800 mostly volunteer, all volunteer departments in Iowa, more than 1,000 in Illinois.